everyone. I am super excited today because today is Celebrate Big Day. Um, I have linked right here in the card section above as well as in the description box. The invite video that I did, I am collaborating with Shanji over at Living Life to the Fullest. And today is our first video. All right, today's video will be how to make a balloon garland. So I will be showing you how to make a balloon garland. And after you watch my video, make sure you go over to her video and watch her on how she makes a um, balloon garland also. All right, so today is our first video. And don't forget to come back next Saturday when we'll be showing you our balloon garland as well as a tablescape. So thank you all so much um, for all of you who are new. My name is Aisha. And this is Elaborate Designs by Aisha, and welcome to my channel. On my channel, you will be seeing event decor, you will see balloon designs, and you will also see tablescapes. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and show you the balloons that I'm going to be using today to make my balloon garland. All right, so the balloons I'm going to be using are these beautiful balloons here. And I purchased them from Amazon, and that's the name of them. Um, I'm not sure. I think it's like all professional decorative decoration balloons. All right, and this is the color. It's like a beautiful, um, like a burgundy color. So I'll be using this balloon. I will also be double stuffing some balloons. And what I'm going to be using are these color balloons right here. And these balloons I got from Amazon also. These are the balloons that I use for my daughter's um, Sweet 16 birthday party. Um, and so they're kind of, they're like the rose gold color. And I'm going to be linking these videos in the card section as well as the description box. So make sure you go and check them out. And what I do when I double stuff, I'm just going to add these two balloons together. And I'm going to show you that. I'm also going to be, I think I'm going to use some of these um, 24, I think these are 24 inch pink Qualitex balloons. I think I'm going to be adding these um, on my garland also. All right, so what I do when I construct my garland, I use, um, what is this? I'm sorry. I use fishing line. And this is a 20 pound fishing line. And this is how fishing line looks. It's clear. All right. And it holds very well to your balloon. I will also be using these um, five inch balloons and these are from Qualitex also and I got these from Amazon as well as my handheld balloon pump. This is a Qualitex balloon pump and it came with a kit that I purchased from Amazon. I'm also going to be using my electric balloon pump um, and I recommend this um, because it's very handy. All right, so let's get started. All right, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to take two balloons and I'm just going to put it here on my nozzle on my electric pump and just blow it up. Okay. And what I do, I just press it on the floor or either on my leg, but today I'm going to press it on the floor and that is just to let a little, little of the air out to make it, to give it a rounder shape. And I'm going to do the same with this one. All right, just like so. You see, it's round. So I'm just going to take it and I'm going to tie them together. All right, just like this. All right, so I'm keep going. I did not say these balloons here are these are the 12 inch balloons
these are my five inch balloons and these are rose gold also. I have all kind of colors in here. So I'm just gonna check out some of the rose gold ones. Um, okay. All right, so what I'm gonna do now, I'm going to take my handheld pump and I'm just gonna use my handheld pump to blow up the little bitty five inch balloons, okay? You really don't wanna put them on an electric balloon pump because you may burst them. It just depends on if you really know how to do it. But I'd rather use this and just give it a couple of pumps. All right, so one, two, three, four pumps. And as you see, four pumps make it look like this, okay? I still press mine down and tight. Okay, so just keep going. One, two, three, four. Press it down, let a little air out, tie it. Okay, and what I'm gonna do with these, I'm going to um, do like I did the 12 inch. I'm gonna go ahead and pair them together. And just like so, just take two of them, tie them together, and that's what you have. All right, so I'm finished with blowing up all of my 12 inch balloons and the five inch balloons that I'm going to use. I may blow up some more five inch balloons once I put the garland up, but I just wanted to show you um, the basic way of blowing up and making a balloon garland, all right? So I have my balloon here. I think this is a 36 inch um, balloon. So I'm gonna blow this up because I'm gonna be adding this to my garland also. All right, so with this balloon, you make sure you use your electric balloon pump to blow it up if you have one. I'm just gonna blow it blow it up this side okay and just kind of press it a little bit all right so I'm gonna take this and tie it try not to knock my stuff over okay it's a really big balloon so you just take it and there's something called a um a balloon tying tool and it just goes around your finger I have mine somewhere but I do not use it because I don't know how so I'm just gonna take this and try to tie it on my own. That took a minute. Okay, so this is how big this balloon is. And I'm sure, like I said, it gets bigger. As you see, I have more room here, but this is good for me right now. And like I said, I think this is a 36 inch balloon. So what I'm gonna start doing now, I'm going to start constructing my my garland I'm going to show you how to do it all right all right so you take your fishing line I have two different ones I think I'm going to use this one it seems like I'm about to give out but I'm going to keep using it and then if I have to I'll swap up but what I'm going to do I'm going to take two of my balloons and these are called pairs all right now you remember I tied them I took one and one and just put it in tied it together to make a pair so what I'm gonna do I'm gonna take my fishing line you can use fishing line you can use balloon string um, 260s whatever you have to construct yours all right so I'm just gonna take my fishing line just take it a little piece well a longer piece and wrap it around these two here. 
And you want to be careful because fish and line will cut your balloons and they will start to deflate. So just be careful. And all I did was tie it around this part of my balloon. Okay, and now I have this long piece right here, fishing line. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna take another pair, okay? And I'm just gonna add it on, just make like a cross on my balloons. Now what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna take my fishing line right here I'm gonna wrap it around what I call my newly, these two are my newly placed balloons. These are my originally original placed balloons, my older balloons. So I'm gonna take this fishing line, wrap it around the newly placed balloons that I just put on, okay, on both sides. Take it and wrap it around the older balloons, just like you doing like, you know, like a figure eight. Take it around. Pull it around again, pull it around the older balloons, the ones that I did first, and then take it to the bottom, bottom and pull it in the middle, okay? And what that do is that seals it in place, all right? All of the balloons, okay? As you see, all right, they are together, all right? So, just keep doing it. Take another one, as you see right here, a pair. Take it, place it directly in the middle of your balloons. Okay, take it, you see my finger here. Take it and hold the newly placed balloons, which are these two right here. Now these two are the balloons that's been there. These are the older ones, these are the new ones. Take your um, fishing line right here in the middle. Take it around. Just like a figure eight, around, pull it, around the older balloons, the ones that's been there, pull it, around the other one, pull it, and just do it one more time, just to make sure that everything is connected, just like so. All right, as you see, this is how it looks, okay? So, you just keep going in that manner until you get all of your balloons on your arm, um, till you form your gar garland the way you want it. Okay, so keep going. just you know like crisscross I did it that way this time this I mean this time here the next time I'm gonna take it and put it in this area I mean going in this direction okay just like that take the string go around pull around pull okay go around the other ones pull and sometimes your finger may get caught, but just move it, pull, go around, pull, and you can do it again just to make sure that it's, that it's um, holding. All right, everyone. So here is how I made my balloon garland. I'm just going to stand it up so that you can see. All right. I still have some more that I need to add to this. But I just wanted to show you how it looks um, right now. It's very pretty. And again, these are the double stuff balloons that I add. And as you see, I didn't do a whole lot of them. I just kind of added them in with my, um, you know, my, my burgundy balloons. All right. So I'm going to keep on adding them. I have a couple more to go. All right. So as you see, I have added all of my 12-inch balloons that I'm going to be adding. So now what I'm going to do, I'm going to take this big 36 inch balloon and I think what I'm going to do, I'm going to add it here on the end. 
I think that's what we're gonna do. All right, so what I'm gonna do with this, I think I'm gonna add it to, um, trying to figure out how I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna take these two balloons right here, and I'm gonna see if I can find a little, uh, yeah, like this little tail part here. And I'm gonna see if I can attach it to this. So, as you see, just in case, I'm gonna take this tail and this tail, and I'm gonna attach it, uh, attach it together, just to see if that works. And I'm gonna just tie it. I know you cannot see it. I don't think so, but I'm gonna to try to let you see, and I'm just gonna tie it together like that. All right. And I'm gonna kind of wrap it. Um, I'm trying to figure this thing out. Okay, so I think I'm gonna kind of wrap the balloon, the uh, fishing line around the balloon. This is just me figuring out something, y'all, just to add this to it. figure out things on your own and see if it works and it may just work all right and I think it did all right so what I'm gonna do I'm gonna continue to put my five inch balloons on and with the five inch balloons once you hang your garland up you just find different areas or little um, areas where you can add more balloons like once you hang your balloon, and I think I'm going to hang my garland right here um, on my bar area, right here where I had my birthday balloons at. So that's what I wanted to show you. I wanted to show you all how to make a balloon garland. I hope that you all got inspiration from this video. Don't forget to let me know in the comment section below. Um, you know what insp inspiration you got from this video. I hope it helped you. So thank you all so very much for watching. Don't forget to go over to Shanji Living Life to the Fullest channel so that you can see her video. Make sure you come back next week, which is September the 19th, next Saturday, so that you can see video number two. And video number two will be a balloon garland along with a beautiful tablescape that we're going to be doing for you all so that you all can see how everything look if you decide to um, add a balloon garland to uh, like a uh, like a dinner party or something like that. So here is my balloon garland, and I'm gonna give you a close up look at it. All right, and these are the five inch balloons that I just attached in different areas. All right, and remember that's the big 36 inch balloon and I just put it here on the end. Um, I just wanted to have that cute little look right there. All right, and that's the double stuff balloon. And it looks beautiful with the burgundy balloons and remember these five inch balloons are rose gold. All right, so I'm gonna step back so you can have a good look at it. Okay. All right. Okay. So I hope that you all like this video. Don't forget to comment. Don't forget to subscribe. And make sure you share this video with someone who would like to see it to get inspired. All right.